So let me ask you, given even these exceptional moments and, and where you've been in your walk, let's say on a scale of one to 10, 10 being this sanctification has really occurred in you and one being the opposite, where would you say you're on the, where you are on this scale these days? Probably a four. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so you got a lot going on. Why why a foreign? Actually, why not actually lower, given everything that's going on? Yeah. I, I think I do make occasional and, and definitely at least weekly attempts to get to this uh, this great prayer warrior, but also like a a faithful prayer state, but it's not it's not daily. It is a word, and it, and honestly, not all the time does it actually lighten my heart and fill me with faith the way that those real dedicated prayer times, like the ones I talked about with Phil, actually did. So it happens, but it doesn't happen super often. Got it. Thanks. And just to better understand this this starting point for you too a little bit, what if let's say Josh were here with us, and I were to say to Josh. Similar question, we have this, this idea of sanctification that we just described, and I said to Josh, you know, let's, let, let's say on a scale of, of 1 to 10, where would Josh put you on the scale these days? <laughs> well, despite the, <laughs> despite the big signals that I get coming from kind of the inner workings of my mind, <laughs> now I think you probably put me probably like a 5 or a 6. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting that, that someone who is spiritually mature and discerning, such as Josh, uh, would, would actually put you higher up the scale. What is it that Josh sees in you that you need to begin to see in yourself? Yeah, I think I can, I, you know, when I'm with Josh or even when I'm with Chris, you know, some of those guys, I think we, we pray more often when we are together. And I think I, I forget those times, like I really do, when we are together, we do pray those times. And those honestly faith building prayers and we do pray them together even when I'm feeling different things but I think I forget that because not all the time when I'm by myself I can focus in on uh, on that so I don't get those dedicated prayer times all the time with just me but I do take those time with the guys that I train and with the guys when we're uh, coming from a great Bible study or something like that well it's, it's interesting to hear you know a lot of times when you know when we have these discussions I often ask somebody hey what if you were to move from, let's say, a 4 to a 4.5? But honestly, it, it does seem like there's a lot going on right now that is really encouraging. Let's say, though, you on this scale, I know it's arbitrary that we were talking about here, but let's say you moved from a, a 4 to a 5 on this scale, and it really does happen. What would you begin to notice, let's say, over the course of the next few days that would tell you, in some small but meaningful way, that you had made progress from a from a four to a five. Yeah. Man, uh, I, I think you know in, in a small way. I, I think I would have jumped at taking those devoted prayer times uh, a few more times a week. But but then I think that the effect on my on my life, like when I would go on campus for the internship, I think I would just feel more faithful, be more faithful, be more patient with the interns for for much longer afterwards. And so my day. Maybe instead of just for a half day, it might be you know for an entire day. Great, maybe even two. And then normally, as an aside, I would normally ask Matt anything else that you might notice. But let's say, uh, for, for for sake of speed, just assume that that, that goes on. And now I, I've, in a sense, been able to educe or draw out uh, some of these great ideas that the Holy Spirit has helped him to see of, of what would look like making progress towards spiritual sanctification. And and then I would then share is that um, well. If, if you're okay with this, I'd like to be able to share with you some challenges or, or really some, some uh, next steps that I think will promote not only being able to make this spiritual progress. Sure. Would that be all right? That'd be great. But let me, let me encourage you to do this. Over the course of this week, and let's, let, let's plan to get together next week, but between now and then, pick three days between now and then where you just live out the, this miracle of sanctification has really occurred within you all right so from from this sunday till next three days 
And in those three days, what would happen is just this one simple sign that you've mentioned is that you would rearrange to get up, get out, and have this astounding time of prayer with God. Great. How's that? And one last thing, though, is after that time of prayer, is you just simply jot down, whether it's a voice memo or something, you just jot down at the end of that prayer what difference that made. Okay. That sound good? That sounds great. Well, good. And let me ask you then, with where you're heading and what you get to do with all of this, how how confident do you feel that you're going to give this a real effort this week? Yeah. Uh, I mean, rather confident. Can I use the numbers again? No. No numbers. <laughs> well, that's, that's very confident. Very, extremely confident. Very, this will happen. Very, yes. Very much. Well, amen. Well, how about, how about with that confidence... You can, you can pray about where you're heading this week and really put it before Jesus. Yeah. And, and we'll head out and, uh, and be on that. Great. Awesome. Okay. So, amen.